Doug asks, uh, let's see, KO4NFA, is there a way to display the channel name uh, and the frequency on the Anytone 878UV2 Plus? Great question. Uh, there may be a way to display both. I have not personally found that. You can do either or. Um, a lot of folks, uh, the radio has actually come set to display just the frequency, uh, unless you buy a plug and play, which we change it for you. But uh, generally, the first thing you want to do is change that over to display the channel, uh, because the frequency, if you, especially in the world of hotspots, it's probably all going to be the same, so you'd be lost trying to find the right talk group. Um, now, what you can do, this is what I do on my personal radio, is actually make a shortcut button on the radio to change that from uh, frequency to channel. That way, if I'm out and I, I know the channel, but it's like, man, what was the frequency for that? I can click a button, immediately see it, and then change it back. That way you have your organization and you can see your channels. Uh, we can dive in here real quick, show you that real fast. Let's see here, oops. Get the comment off the screen. So here we go. Uh, take a look at it here. So let me think. So we're looking for, where would that be? Okay, so we'll go to settings and go to radio set. And I believe you want, yeah, go to key function. Uh, let's just for the sake of it do this PF1 short. So we have that on digital monitor right now. Uh, now let's see, subchannel hide. So you can also hide your subchannel. I typically get rid of my subchannel. Not a huge fan of having that showing, but you can set up a shortcut if you sometimes like having it. Um, we'll find it here. It's probably near the start. Yep. Oh, I think. This channel name, there you go. So ch.name, that's the one you want. There we go, so we have that selected as a shortcut. So now when we are out here and press this PF1 button, that's gonna change that over to the frequency. So now you can see the frequency. Okay, great, I know what channel 34 now is, you know, and then change back over uh, or whatever your situation is. So that is how I personally roll uh, when it comes to the, the channel options there. So hopefully that helps you. I definitely recommend, uh, you know, if you're just using it for DMR, probably no point. Um, but if, if you're using it for other things, like I like to monitor a lot of railroad stuff, so it's perfect. I can have all my channels, but it, you know, if I want to per put it in a different radio and a scanner or something like that, it's like, what was that channel? Click the button, you see it, there you go, you're good. So awesome, hope that helps.